hi guys welcome back to another video for today's video i am going to be showing you guys our new temporary house tour video a couple videos ago our house did burn down so we had to move into a motel for a couple of weeks then i decided that living in a hotel wasn't really for us since we had a lot of arguments as a family and we it was a small space for all of us i took it upon myself and declan helped me find houses for us to temporarily move into and right now we are renting this house four thousand dollars a month which is so much better than paying 250 a night at a motel <laughs> and today i'm going to be giving you guys a house tour our new house is still getting built since our old house did get burned half of the house is gone so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour Let, with, let's go ahead and get so started. we moved to this new neighborhood where he cannot find us i hope and so far it's been very peaceful so for the outside we ended up adding more landscaping we added lights into our driveway so we could see obviously at night for our front door we left it the same we just added a welcome carpet and a ring doorbell so first things first when we you enter the house you will see our umbrellas and our plants of course and a big mirror because like i said again a house is not a house without a big mirror <laughs> for the elegance of course and we have our 100k play button so everybody can see if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe we're getting closer every single day i really appreciate it and then let me tell you guys as our kitchen oh my goodness for this house i didn't really want to go with modern i wanted to go with more like cottage core type but modernish but it's so weird but i like it this is our beautiful kitchen it's a white type of kitchen i don't know how to explain this type of style i just saw it and i fell in love with it we have our spices up here you know some flowers that london was cutting up and more flowers obviously my little espresso machine i never had a island with a black countertop tile thing and it's honestly so beautiful and the detail we have our custom door here it's gorgeous it's really tall and you enter our pantry here which we have a fridge and then we have a mini fridge for the skincare and stuff like that a deep fryer appliances you know our seasonings and we are gonna restock we're gonna stock up um our fruits and vegetables and stuff like that so yeah that's gonna be fun that's our little pantry area and then the kitchen doesn't only stop here but it does move on over here which we have some curtains for the backyard a flower and more storage area and just so you can come wash your plates and dishes and stuff like that which is so cute beautiful photos here london chose them out and let's move on to our living room so for our living room it's very small but i just love it so cozy my favorite place and of this entire house has to be the fireplace look at the fireplace it looks so beautiful we have a basket with some books and blankets our new sofa which is so extremely comfy like ugh, so comfy i literally could fall asleep here every single day we have a recliner chair so comfy and that's pretty much it for the living room it's so small but i love it We're gonna go into our first bedroom, which is Isla's and Jane's. Winter wanted to have her own room, and Isla didn't really care, and Jane's didn't really care, so I just decided, you know what? Okay, we're gonna put James and I in the same room. So we go in here, and James has the top, the top bunk, and Isla has the bottom bunk. I did keep the rug in their room because Isla is still small, and I'm scared she's gonna fall and hit her head on hardwood, you know? So I kept the rug in here. We have Isla's side, and then we have James's side. They have the TV. And James has his James has his collection of cards on the top. And Isla and her books in the bottom. And this big teddy bear. And James can go up. He just has to climb this. And then there we go. They both have a plushie on their beds, which is so cute. And I added a map for them to learn the geography. Is it geography? I don't even know myself. <laughs> next we're gonna go into london's room which is one of my favorite rooms in this house you make your way here everything's so like next to each other and i love that because you don't have to walk across the whole world to get to a another kid's room so this is london's room london's room is is like decorated for valentine's because she had a valentine's which she did not tell me about but that's her bed is so big and so comfy she has some painting some wall art here her laundry basket uh, her vanity of course everything does work uh, more mirrors and she has this collection of like these sculpture things i don't know she goes to a pottery class so she made them and that's really cute and she has her closet of course in here the cool part about her room is she could open her window look so she could get some fresh air isn't that just beautiful 
and all you see is the fence because his neighbors are over there and that's really awesome we're gonna go into the bathroom now so this bathroom is actually connected with isla's and james's room that's where they have like four toothbrushes and also winter does come and use this bathroom there's only two bathrooms in this house which is sad but it works pretty well the we have this beautiful floor tile here and then more paintings of course a bath the toilet and the shower is so small but it works and it's cozy i don't know how to explain it it's just like a very beautiful bathroom <laughs> that all the kids share so there is plenty of fights here when going to school in the morning they're like get out i want to use it but Got you. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So it does connect to both of their rooms, which is awesome. And originally, Winter didn't like it, but girl chose a different room, so yes. That. Right next to London's room is Winter's room. Winter's room is a very small. I was gonna say it's probably the smallest room, but no, actually, it's the same size as Isla's and James's, so yeah. But she has a little bit more space. She has her collection of plushies that this girl gets from I don't know where. And then her collection of unicorns from I don't know where. And she loves to paint so she has a lot of a lot of paint buckets. Her beautiful mirror with LED lights. Her TV which she just wanted it mounted onto the wall for whatever reason. I was like you don't want to dress her? She was like no. So just connected to there. Her books on top. Her computer and a beautiful detailed wall. And she's the only one that wanted color in her room for like a wall. So I added a green wall. And then her bed is just the single bed paintings. And then her cork board for anything, any reminders or anything like that. And she has a view to the backyard. So it's cute. Now that we're done with this side of the house, which is Winter's room, London's room, Isla's and James and their bathroom, we're gonna move on to my room. So you walk over here, like not even across the whole road. It's like what, three steps? And you make it to my room. Let me show you guys. So my room is obviously a little bit more bigger and it's obviously the master bedroom because, um, excuse me, I need space. <laughs> I bought the same bed as winter. I just bought it in the queen size. I have a big, beautiful mirror here and my laundry basket, of course, my clothes and a beautiful place to sit and just chill and chat, you know, some flowers. The walls are detailed, which is amazing. I love it. Just adds so much to this room station my little office here station my corkboard too for reminders and stuff like that and i also have a window that opens for fresh air which is amazing i need to buy a curtain though i just totally forgot i needed a curtain oh excuse me privacy and i have my own bathroom which the kids can use like winter since she doesn't have her own bathroom all the kids are welcomed here in here unless i'm sleeping so yeah so for my bathroom i just added the same tiles as their bathroom a toilet a sink you know and my beautiful shower here's the arched doorway type thing and yeah i have a cute little window up there and that's pretty much it for my bathroom oh i don't know what happened here how that should be but alrighty, we'll have to fix that that's ugly and it's bothering me so much right now so let me not look at it let me just forget that i even saw that so that's my room let's go to the laundry room there's literally four squares this is the laundry room we have a chore chart here some towels a mirror um dish soap and all those things and obviously the laundry things because we need them next we have the garage which is so empty we want to turn this garage obviously we have a car to put in here right but they're out right now so the car's not in here i wanted to turn this garage into like a gym area or like a dance room or just as another separate room or my closet which i'm so close to building a house and back for a closet because i need more space for my closet i cannot live with that little bit of space but i don't know let me know what we, what we should turn into this garage too it still will be a garage we just like will transfer to make it to something else and we have our pool and then the last part of the house which is the backyard this time it is a little bit decorated you know most of my times my backyards are not finished whatsoever and decorated whatsoever but this time it is a little bit we have a grill station for if you want to cook have a little cookout out here and then our this is very dangerous um some couches here and a fireplace for late night talks or whatever and then our pool which is heated and it's 
right now the color purple another way to get to the backyard is going to the front and then going to this door right here which would go through this little hallway tunnel and we have this so we can use the water hose and hose and water the plants and also water the backyard plants you know why was that on oh hello we're just wasting water but yeah so we could just water them and we don't have to travel everywhere the pool looks incredible at night let me show you how it looks at night look at the pool at night it just illuminates and it's so beautiful but yeah you guys that's pretty much it for today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy our new house this is our new temporary home for a while I cannot wait to start recording in here and creating more memories with you guys. Please consider subscribing. It is totally free as well. Like in today's video, commenting down below what we should turn to the garage into. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Pinch away. Everybody.